We're going to go through the process of seeing how we could use ad optics to optimize an ad campaign with low impressions and traffic. If we go into our ad optics dashboard, we see our ad optics uh, advertising account. And we see the task generated by the system. And we're going to take a look at a, the end ad test task that was generated from an experiment that we've been running for um, a few days now. So we click on the details link and we see that this test has been running for 27 days. And we see we have a click through improvement rate of 255% and we're 96% confident that the difference is statistically significant, um, which is important when running ad A-B test, it's actually vital. Over 90% is what we're looking for. So uh, the we're using con uh, click through rate as a primary performance indicator rather than conversions since we have so little impressions and click for this campaign. It'd be great if we get a conversion or two, but that's not going to be uh, our primary performance indicator as it would be in a count that gets a lot of traffic. Um, so using click through rate, we see our two different ads running here. Uh, they're very similar. Um, the first ad is stressing uh, the headline free lifetime account as the uh, third headline, which seems to be the biggest difference between the two ads. This is a SCAG based ad group for uh, Google ad testing tool. Uh, we see that in our headline. Um, headline two is very similar, except uh, um, we're calling out that it's for Google ads again, which reinforces the keyword search for the user. Uh, so scrolling down, we see the performance differences. We do have a conversion for ad B uh, versus zero, but again, we're not optimizing on conversions because we really don't have enough data for this yet. But we do have enough data for impressions and clicks, which is our click-through rate. Uh, we see here ad B on the left-hand side is five clicks uh, for 19 impressions versus two clicks for 27 impressions for ad A. So we see that there is a 255% difference in performance in the B ad over the A ad. So that's really a significant difference uh, when you're running two different ads. They might not seem all that different on the surface when you look at the two ads and their structure, but the performance, uh, the data-driven backed performance that we're seeing is really significant. So uh, we're going to get a, a, a big difference by pausing the losing ad A here. Uh, and we're going to continue uh, to test again and hopefully get more gains. So now we're going to go through uh, creating an ad test. And this is um, we this is an ad group where we've already run a few experiments before and we've already had some optimization. Here we see the running ad and we go into our ad writer to create this second ad to test against. And in our drop down list, we see some ads that we've already been running in the account. And um, we see the performance data for the ads in this account. Here's a good one on the bottom with five conversions and it has a conversion rate of 8.25 conversions per thousand impressions. That's a pretty strong starting point to use, but up here we actually have one that's even better. Um, it has six conversions with 11.45 conversions per thousand impressions. So this is gonna be a good one to start with. Um, and we're gonna make one or two changes to the ad. Uh, the ad group we're bidding in is a, a SCAG ad group uh, for the test ad keyword. Um, and since we're using Google Ads uh, as our primary um, source of users, we're going to adjust this headline one. And we're going to call out uh, that our service and tool is for uh, Google Ads. And uh, we're testing two different versions in other experiments between tool and service. Tool seems to be um, a lower barrier of entry for people, and it it's, seems to be a easier onboarding than service. Um, we are going to make a, another change to headline two. We're going to drop out free since we're really calling out free in the uh, third headline. Um, and it's kind of redundant calling it out twice. So you want your ads as simple as possible uh, while giving as much conversion um, inducing text as you possibly can. But repeating free twice isn't really necessary, especially when it's almost um, by itself in headline three. Um, everything else we're going to leave the same. You only really want to test uh, one change at a time, but since we're so early on, we could test two things, which is changing headline one and headline two. We do have a um, a new landing page for this, which we'll test as well. And I just want to make sure that it's running here. So it is running. So we'll use this landing page uh, in this ad. And we push that over to Google. And now we have two ads running side by side. And now the ads are in an in-progress experiment in our ad optics dashboard where we could see, uh, we could monitor the details. We see it's only been created 11 seconds ago. Uh, we don't have any data in there yet, but uh, the system will generate a new end ad test task once it has gathered enough data um, to uh, make a decision on which ad is performing better. I hope that helps uh, you understand how you could optimize a low traffic, low impression campaign using ad optics.